Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Listen, before I get started, you know, um, the Lord had laid some things on my heart this morning. I'm kind of off to, I wouldn't exactly say a late start because I've never really had a schedule um, on YouTube, but you guys may notice some changes in when I'm uploading and things like that. And it has a lot to do with my scheduling here in my personal life, other things, and as just well as some things that the Lord has been showing me so my videos may come up at certain times of the day or it may come up in the evenings but um yeah so just be mindful of that for those of you that kind of got used to it just being like bam 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 um yeah the lord is just uh, showing me some things and my patterns i've noticed has been changing as how the lord is uh you know just showing and dealing with me on certain things and then of course everyday responsibilities <laughs> All right, so um, the Lord put something in my spirit, and I don't know who this is for, but I'm going to speak the word that the Lord has given to me, and this is for a young lady, and you are in a relationship with someone where image is very, very important. You're in a place where you have to watch what you're eating. You have to keep your body a certain way because the person that you're with i don't know if it's your boyfriend or your husband but you have someone in your life that's very very critical of you and how you look physically is very very important to him he compares you to in some cases as exes to other women on television why don't you look like this i wish you looked like that those are the things that the Lord is showing me that's coming up in my spirit in regards to the things that's being said to you. And you're literally in a workout regime, even at home. And you, the way you're eating, the way you're doing things, you are like on thin ice because the man that you are with is just being very, very, very critical of you because of how you look. And God wants to set you free from that. God has said, God says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And what's going on is this is coming from an insecurity that you have had from you were a child, from you were young, beliefs that you've had about yourself. So he's just showing me where you're trying so hard to be loved. You are working so hard to be accepted by this man. But God is saying, this man doesn't love you. This is a person who is dark in themselves and he is being used by darkness to keep you down. And God wants to set you free from that. He wants you to get into a place to pray, to repent, to ask him into your life, into your heart. If you don't, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, he does love you. He wants you to just come into, come into, come in, come into his presence. Where is his presence? Wherever you are and you just communicate with him. This may be in a different part of the house. This must be in your bed. It may be on your patio. But I hear the Lord say he's been calling out to you. He's been reaching out to you. He's been keeping you because even in your mind, you've had some thoughts to hurt yourself. And God is saying not so. You see, death is not the end. Death is actually the beginning of eternity. So if you don't know the Lord, I invite you to say this prayer with me. It is Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. Come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and you were raised up on the third day. Lord Jesus, remove from me all evil, all darkness of this world and from the enemy. I renounce every work of darkness, every pact that I have made. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I receive you now in Jesus' name. Amen. And you are saved. Now, sis, as soon as you can, if you haven't already done it, get yourself baptized. A lot of people will say, your salvation is not complete until you're baptized, but that's not the truth if you really follow in the word of God. But don't deny baptism if you can get it done. Get it done. 
And the Lord is inviting you to get into the word of God, get into the word, read the Bible. I always tell people, read the Bible page by page. How can you serve a God that you don't really study and know about? <laughs> How can you work for a business you haven't studied and know what it's about? So my brother and sister, and by business, I mean not church. <laughs> but you know, when you're going to work for any business, any company, you know? So here, the same thing with salvation. Study and know about God. Read the Bible. Start in the New Testament. Start in Matthew and just read chapter by chapter till you get to Revelation. Then go in the New and just be led wherever the Lord shows you. Praying is a conversation with the Lord. And that's all. You conversate with God. But what's important is that you designate a time that's for you and the Lord. Your life is going to change. It's never going to be the same, whoever you are. God is going to free you. Don't worry. Don't say, how am I going to get out of this? How and some if, if you're living with somebody and you shouldn't be <laughs> and you're not married to him, then my sister, listen, don't jump ship. Rather hear from God and he will show you. He will show you exactly what to do to get you out of that situation. But I just hear the Lord saying, be still and wait and listen. But he wants to take you out of that prison that you're in where you can be yourself. You can work out when you would like to work out. And you can choose to eat what you want to eat. And not doing this because there's someone who's over you making you feel like you're less than and that you're not beautiful. This is the word of the Lord today. If For those of you that this word is not for, I pray that you will pray for this young woman. It could even be more than one. I'm sure it is. Pray for them. Pray for them, my brothers and sisters. We don't know what people are going through. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. This is the word of the Lord today.